So you've just been watching the solo example from my more ridiculously easy blues licks lesson, which was the first lesson I posted this year. So my name's Mark, and in this video I thought what we'd do is look back at all of the solo examples from all of the lessons I've posted throughout 2020. So sit back and listen to a lot of blues rock guitar, and then we'll come back on the other side and we'll talk about what lessons you might want me to cover in 2021.
the lessons apart from the final one of the year which was a lesson about Jimi Hendrix. You see after the success of the ZZ Top lesson one of my Patreon supporters got in touch and asked if I'd do a similar lesson covering Jimi Hendrix. Now this took an awful lot more research um, and took quite a while to put together but finally I did it. It became a bit of an epic so here it is now this is Mark doing an impersonation of Jimi Hendrix. So despite all the efforts I put into that Jimi Hendrix lesson, it actually received far fewer uh, views than, it, than my other lessons. And I've been trying to wonder why that is, why um, people out there in YouTube land, why they just didn't uh, watch this particular video. 
So I've been um, thinking about it and the only conclusion I, I could come to is that as my videos are more generally geared towards blues, that people who subscribe to my channel probably want to see blues and don't really want to see rock guitar in the style of Jimi Hendrix. So in the coming year, I'll be focusing more on uh, blues music and less on rock music, because that's the only reason why I can think of that that particular lesson didn't do quite so well. So when I'm deciding which lessons to post, the main direction actually comes from the Patreon supporters. So this year, earlier on, I asked them the question of uh, which styles should my lessons focus on? And what's interesting here is despite the fact that classic rock is obviously quite a popular response, you can see from the results that electric blues, um, particularly electric traditional blues, is what the Patreons really want to see covered on my channel. And so that's what prompted me back in August to post the Chicago style blues uh, lesson. Um, I wanted to make sure I was covering that traditional blues because that's what proved very popular with the, uh, with the Patreon supporters. So then at the end of the year, I then asked them, uh, what do you want to learn next? Thinking about next year, what, what is it that you want to learn? Um, and I'll be honest that these results quite surprised me. Um, and I've got a separate video with the Patreon supporters that I'll be discussing just uh, with them going into the results in a bit more detail. Um, but suffice to say that I'll be posting a short course on improvisation in the new year. So if you've got any questions on the subject of improvisation or things that you want me to cover, then please leave me a comment. If there's things that you're struggling with when you're trying to improvise, please let me know and I'll try and cover those in the lessons. So as well as polling the Patreon supporters, I've also run a number of polls on YouTube during the course of the year. And the results are really interesting. So firstly on tab, I asked uh, about the on-screen tab, how useful is it? Um, and now this is a really interesting result and we'll come back to this one in a moment. So next I asked, um, do you mainly watch gear videos or guitar lessons? And it seems that people who watch my videos are only really interested in lessons and learning. And this is probably explains why videos that I've put out which focus on gear, well, they don't do quite so well. So back in February, I put out a video where I compared a, the sound of a maple fretboard uh, strat to a rosewood fretboard strat. Um, and if you look at the other videos on YouTube that cover this kind of topic, well, some of them have got more than like a million views. Yet, in this for this particular video, I got like less than a thousand views, which is really, really strange for my channel. My channel normally gets a lot more views than that. So I draw the conclusion that um, my audience, the, the subscribers, the Patreon supporters, etc., they want me to focus on lessons and teaching blues rather than gear. So going into the new year, that's what we'll be focusing on. So next, what do you mostly use to learn guitar? And this is a fascinating result. When we think that when I was learning, YouTube didn't even exist. Uh, and now it's the main source for 70% of the people that watch my channel. So it's remarkable also that so few people use books anymore or even use other paid online courses. Remarkable that the vast majority, 70%, um, are mainly using YouTube as their source of learning. So this next question came out after I put out a video where I talked about how I broke down guitar levels of guitar playing into four uh, categories. You've got the absolute beginner, then you've got the beginner, then you've got the intermediate, and then finally you've got advanced. And I talked about how the aim of my channel is to help people take a, a leap from the kind of the top end of the beginner up to the intermediate. Intermediate where 
you're good enough to play in a band, go out, play blues clubs and whatnot at the weekend um, and actually become, you know, quite a, a competent guitar player. Not advanced, but good enough to go out and play in a band. So when you look at the results of this alone, you'd probably think that actually that's not really where I need to be targeting my lessons, that actually I should make the material a bit more difficult for that kind of more intermediate uh, player. But if you actually look across the popularity of my videos across the whole year, actually my most popular video this year has been Play Your First Blues Solo, which was aimed squarely at someone who's kind of top end, absolute beginner, I'm moving into like the kind of beginner just starting to play blues solos for the first time. So it's quite an interesting poll result um, and it kind of means that yeah I will be focusing still on those beginner lessons because they are the ones that prove the most popular but I will also be including a lot more kind of intermediate stuff as well. So then, um, yes, basically I ran the tab question twice. I ran it at the start of the year and I ran it at the end of the, the year. And the results are actually pretty consistent. Now, the reason I did this is because something tab is something that I find a little difficult. It's something that I struggle with. It's something that I find incredibly time consuming to try and write out tab. It's not something that I use in my own playing and my own learning really. Um, so consequently, I'm not very good at reading and writing tab. Um, it's not something I use myself. So I can't read traditional music, Steve. Um, I don't really use tab. And so I was, I'll be honest, I was looking for an excuse to not include tab on the videos because that actually slows down the video production um, process for me. But it's very clear that um, actually, the viewers, you people out there in YouTube land, you want to see this, you find it very useful. So it is something I will be continuing to do. There will be on screen tab, tab will be available. If you send me an email after a lesson, I'll send you the tab across. The tab's always made available to the, to the Patreon supporters as well. They also get a special video of just the performance with the tab on screen as well, but the performance slowed down so you can follow it and it's, it, it helps with practice. So it is, um, it, tab is something I will be obviously uh, continuing with because it's so important for so many players. And there we have a year of Mark Guitar on YouTube. So uh, what should I cover next year? Let me know uh, which lessons this year that you've enjoyed the most and I found the most beneficial. And I'll try and do more in those, in those kind of uh, styles next year. Uh, tell me kind of what um, things you'd like me to, to cover next year. Based on the Patreon polls, I'll definitely be looking at improvisation and uh, doing a short course on that. And also I'll be looking at tackling some blue standards. So if there are blue standards that you want to learn and um, that you want to master yourself, let me know and I'll try and include those in the lessons. And so finally, 2020 has been the weirdest of years for all of us. And however it's been for you, I hope that 2021 is better. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, thanks for watching my videos and I'll see you in the new year.